when you play on one fps but i don't care i actually prefer this one because we get the chance to see this in slow motion you are soldiers of gondor and whatever comes through this video i beat you subscribe and also leave a like as we are about to defend the white city minas Tirith in the battle for middle of one edin mod which is way different than the one from the campaign because this minas Tirith has actually seven rings it is looking phenomenal i was able to load into this before just to make sure it's working out and it's working out perfectly gandalf the white wizard rides to minas Tirith. Oh my goodness, I mean, they were actually trying hard to make it like in the films, and unfortunately they couldn't get uh, Pippin mounted to Gandalf, but that's gonna be something we will be adding also into the patch 2.22 update, which should be released in about a couple of weeks, and you will be able to mount Shadow Facts with Gandalf together with Pippin, and also you can mount Treebeard, just like in the films, with your Merry and Pippin too. Look at this beautiful white city, boys. And Gandalf is cheating, by the way. I mean, he's a wizard. He's teleporting. And he has also the wall check. Wall cheat. <laughs> he can go through the walls for whatever reason. Okay. I mean, again, it's a phenomenal designed map with like seven rings. But in order to get the chance to play this, you need to also enable the Eden mod. And of course, as usually, I will put all the links you need in order to download the Eden mod. And also play this um, map in the comment section down below. Or in the description down below, rather. Okay. You full of a took. Send Pippin to the light fire on the hidden path. And the plan here is, of course, simple. We need to light them so we can call for it. And Rohan, hopefully, will answer. I mean, look at this beautiful map, boys. We need to be prepared. We need to build the marketplace, too. Archer range we need. I mean, we cannot re recruit any more units because we are command points kept. Hopefully, it's not going to be too laggy. It's not about my PC because in reality, you can play BFME games on a toaster. <laughs> they are very old games, but it's about the game engine. The game is not designed to have such a big, massive amount of units. You know what I mean? Okay, we need a lot of archer ranges for the worst case scenario, and we need to be prepared. Prepare for battle, as Gandalf the White would like to say. With a lot of units, boys. A lot of them. Oh my goodness, man. That's gonna be kind of funny, dude. Look at this. In the minimap, you know, look how gigantic the Minas Street is actually looking like. With lo lots of gates, and you can always disengage. I mean, to be honest, even in the normal campaign of the Battle for Middle of One, Minas Street and Helm's Deep were already designed very nicely. Back in 2004, it, you know, it's a game which is almost 20 years old by now. And it, it actually, the EA games did a phenomenal job. But there are definitely some custom maps which are bringing it to the next level, and I believe that's going to be one of them. Okay, we need every upgrade. We need the flaming arrows for the rangers and archers. We have almost all of them are level 7, which is pretty good. Um, and we need to be prepared, you know? So now we need to... Boom. Well done. Now Rohan forces will come to our eat. Send Pippin to Gandalf. See no more. I got you. Okay. So Peregrine took. Go back to your Gandalf. Save the refugees. Gandalf is the right against the Nazgul. Just like in the films. I like that. The armies of Mordor are approaching. You have to be front here, the White Rider. Okay, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on, Yanov. Kill one of them. They are level 4 2. Come on, he's dodging my attacks. Take this. Get one shotted, son. And it's gonna be enough to force the others to retreat. And now the Gondor Knights, just like in the films, are getting in safety. Start building and formate your troops. Okay, say no more, I got you. I mean, we cannot build any more units though. Again, we are command points kept. We cannot recruit any more than we, what we already have. We have also level 10 units upon the field. We need to wait now for the blacksmiths to hit level 2, which will give us the chance to, you know, purchase the forge plates, heavy armor, and the banner carry upgrade, just to make sure that every unit which we have under our control have all the upgrades purchased, so they can become to the strongest form, you know? That's gonna be the plan. 
And please let me know in the comment section down below, boys. Do you like this kind of custom maps? You know, and uh, because we will hopefully be able to implement our very own custom maps in the following versions of the patch 2.2. The next step for the Battle for Middle Earth patch, which we are working on, is going to be the improvement of the evil campaign. Remember, we are we were already able to change and make the good campaign way harder, and we have also plans for that uh, for the evil campaign part. And then after that, we will hopefully be able to implement new multiplayer maps. Also skirmish maps and then afterwards i mean again lots of stuff to do in the to-do list but making our own custom maps is also in the pipeline it's in the planning you know even the minas street is kind of epic but i enjoyed actually in the films also the defense of the of the helm's deep you know what i mean it was also phenomenal but for me legit the best scene in the entire trilogy was the scene when theorin was coming to help out the white city Minas Tirith, you know what I'm saying? That was kind of crazy. Theoden hit like a crazy battle speech, and I think that could not only, I mean, that's not definitely, that's definitely is already the best speech in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, but it could be also the best speech of all time in every single film. Okay, okay, we need to put them in formation. I'm gonna put them all on top of the wall. So they can hopefully be able to shoot from a long distance. The plan is to defend until the Rohan reinforcements are gonna arrive on the battlefield. Again, almost level to blacksmith, so we can purchase this one. And also the heavy armor and the banner we will be purchasing from this one, which is gonna hit almost level 2 very soon. Oh, okay, we can get it from there. Okay, nice, beautiful. Okay, nice. We can close the gate, hope for the best. <laughs> And look how many gates we have. It's kind of confusing too because there is so much stuff, you know what I mean? Like it's kind of gi gi gigantic. Oh. Okay, Denethor is sending his son to Osgiliath. Imagine at this point when you watch the scene, you need to imagine how Peregrine took is singing the song he used to sing in the, in the, in the movie. But also you need to imagine at the same time uh, Denethor biting in his tomatoes. <laughs> I, You know... A couple of months ago, I was trying to lose weight by eating a little bit less and making more exercise, ex you know, exercises. And the one thing that helped me out a lot, kind of, you know, kind of crushing my appetite, was actually me imagining Denator eating and biting in his tomatoes, you know? Potatoes, tomatoes! Okay, I mean, I cannot control these units because they, can, they are riding pretty much into the death. I don't know if people get the chance to save them later on, but this white city is looking so crazy good, man. Come on now, dude. This is looking crazy. If 2,800 units up on the field, can you guys imagine that? And they are all high level too, all of them. Look, we, we see level 7 soldiers, a lot of archers, Farami is getting hurt. And now we can send him back to the white city. Okay, I mean, just like in the films, he's not gonna die, right? He's gonna be hurt, and I hope not, but in the film, his father was trying to burn him. Bury him alive, so hopefully that's not gonna happen in this in this one. I mean, I won't let this happen, trust me on that one, you know? Okay, I mean, Mordor forces are coming, boys, so prepare for battle. We have so many units up on the, up on the wall, that's kinda crazy. Let's hope we have enough, though. I mean, um, for now, there is not too much coming, but I'm sure later on we will have to get, we will have to defend against way more units. Okay, I mean, we have a lot of Gondor Knights. We can also pick up the power points now. We can pick up the, um, um this, the, this is, I mean, I need to say one thing about um, Edin mod. There is no English version of this mod. So basically, you can only play it in German language, right? And, but fortunately, I am coming from Germany, so I, I know what they are, what they are saying. The voice lines are going to be still English if you have installed the game in English, but all your text files, you know, everything what you need to read from the units, for example, is going to be in German language. We are getting a lot of power points, that's good. Okay, I mean, there are catapults, but what we can do is we can summon our own catapults. But you cannot control them. But they will shoot automatically everything that is in the range, you know? 
in the one thing we need to pay attention about are those siege towers they're actually kind of tanky and we need to make sure that those units cannot climb the ladders and get to our wall because if they do that look at, at their levels you know what i mean they can actually slaughter the archers because remember the archers are glass cannon units in this game they're about dealing damage but they have no tankiness and you can also feel the game is getting slowed down a little bit because of the immense amount of units on the field remember we have all alone all, you know only us we have almost 2800 units worth of command points under our control you know excluding the enemy units on the field which means the game has to render eventually 3000 4000 units at the same time simultaneously which is a little bit too much for the engine of the game from 2004 you know but hopefully it's not gonna crash in between the game that would be kind of kind of unfortunate because i want to see the ending of this mission of this custom map I mean, it's lagging a little bit, though. It's lagging, definitely. Oh my goodness. Here they come, boys. Here they come. Thralls, too. More catapults are coming. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's go, man. But the gate has never, has never been breached, you know? They will have to bring more reinforcements than that in order to break the very, very strong gate of the White City Minas Tirith. The power points are rising to the sky. We have 29 power points. I mean, power points are not a problem. Um, but we need to kind of be smart about when and where to, where to use them. Because remember, the power points in this game have like a really long cooldown. And you don't want to waste it. You know, basically you want to use it when you have no other way of dealing with the current situation. I'm really afraid that the game might crash actually. Look, my camera movements, you can eventually see also the lag in the video later on. But when I'm moving with my camera, it, it's like feeling like in slow motion, you know what I mean? Look, we have 49 power points in the bank, dude. 50 power points! 51, 52! 53! 54! It doesn't stop, 55! Let's get them all upgrades too. I mean, I'm pretty certain that we are in a very good spot. But I don't know what is yet to come, you know? With them also the bleeds. More bleeds. Okay, I'm gonna put also the soldiers on top of the wall. Just to make sure. I mean, don't zoom out too much. Because when you zoom out too much, you can see the game is becoming even slower. Because there are gonna be way more units in the screen you have. Which is again, very hard for the game to render, you know? You will have all the power points now from the spell book. All of them, including the EOD. And we can use them also right off the bat. But again, we don't need to use it at this point because, you know, we are kind of crushing them even without it. Again, important is to crush those siege towers before they can get the chance to crush us. There are too many catapults on the field from Mordor. And they are not trying to destroy the trebuchet on top of the wall. They are trying to kill the units inside the castle, which is kind of questionable. Oh my goodness, but it's freezing. It's, it's kind of pausing, you know? Okay, I mean, I could... My Gallop is level 10, so basically I have the chance to go for the War of Power, but I'm gonna save it also. I mean, very similar situation with the War of Power to all the power points from the spellbook. It has really a long cooldown, and we don't want to waste it for no reason. Again, use it when you have to, when you have no other choice. Maybe we're gonna use it right on the spot here. Uh, I want to just get it on cooldown so you, can, you guys can see this, you know? We need to really kill this uh, tower, though. Look, when the units are arriving, it's very hard. To defend this even trebuchet because we cannot buy the firestone on them that's not possible which kind of makes sense because without firestone it, it takes way longer time to destroy them with firestone i i believe the ai would never get the chance to get to the wall boom son there we go i'm a servant of the secret fire the fielder of the flame of arnor dark fire will not avail you mordor Mordor will be gone, Thor. <laughs> okay, sorry for that. Sorry. My my sarcasm is actually... My, my, my sense for humor is kind of questionable sometimes. Do not come between the Nazgul and his prey. Now the Nazguls are going to arrive in Minas Tirith. And we're going to make sure to kill them. These each towers, they actually need ages to be destroyed. Um, we can use the Gandalf with the Easter Light to kill one of the Nazguls. Because we have seen what happens before at the beginning of the game. We can actually one-shot them, one of them, with one Easter Light. No problemo. I mean, so far Mordor has not been even able to touch the gate. 
Um, but they have been they've been successfully able to climb the wall with the siege ladders, which are with, with, the, with the siege towers. They are actually quite tanky. But the city is looking phenomenal, dude. I mean, it's the only problem is it's the lagging part. You know what I mean? But I I will have to take it because I I really want this having like a epic battle. You know, with like thousands of units on the field, which makes way more sense because it's you know. Like basically, we are able now to replay the entire, uh, entire, you know, Return of the King, pretty much. I mean, so far, the only unit which causes problems are those siege towers. I don't know what is the easiest way to kill them, but maybe they are meant to be kind of hard to be destroyed, because again, that's like the legit the only chance Mordor can ever come to our side. So we need to kill those catapults with our trebuchet, one by one. Luckily, we can one-shot them, right? I mean, one trebuchet shot is enough to kill one of them. Because if you don't destroy them, they will actually get the chance to destroy us. Nice, you see, we can one-shot them. In the Firestone upgraded um, catapults, they actually hurt a lot. Kill this, now. Can you, can you shoot? Can you shoot, please? Should be good. Oh, one tower was able to make it. We need to... Oh my goodness, the game is freezing. I'm very scared. I, I really hope that the game is not gonna kind of get crashed, you know? In the middle of the progress. I mean, so far we are actually in a very good spot. I believe Mordor has to go for the big guns, you know? In order uh, to achieve something. To achieve victory. We have almost not lost any unit in the game so far. I mean, they were able to get to the wall a little bit, but again, it's very important to kill the tool which they need to make it to the wall. If you if you can do that, the uh, the number advantage they have is kind of meaningless because they cannot really use the orcs. Orcs are melee units, and as long as they can't make it to the wall, they are kind of useless. We can kill them slowly but surely over time. Oh my goodness, man! Look at this. <laughs> I believe if the air would produce a little bit more units, then this would be literally more uh, not playable. I mean, not in terms of difficulty, but in terms of, you know, the lag. I mean, so far we, we are in a phenomenal spot. Come on now. Again, as Gandalf would like to say, you are soldiers of Gondor. We need to hold. Hold the door. Hold the door. Make sure everyone has, has the upgrades, just to make sure that they are strong enough. You know, hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst. So in the in the worst case scenario, they might actually make it to the wall. They might actually kill the first line, first ring of Minas Tirith, and we need to have we need to have like a backup plan to retreat to. Again, look at this. One of them, later, one of the siege towers was able to get mounted, attached to the wall, and we struggling to destroy them, even with fire arrows. It's very really tough, you know. Okay. Destroy the siege towers. Magistos. That's like the German <laughs> translation for the visa blast. And guys, quick question. Where are you guys from? Uh, is anybody who's watching right now from Germany? Or from Turkey? Because if you don't know anything about me, I'm a Turkish guy living in Germany but making English content. So if that's not multi culti boys, I don't know what is. I mean, we could use the EOD if you wanted to, but I'm really trying to save it for something more epic, you know? I don't know what else will be, will, you know, is implemented into this mod, into this mission. I hope to see also Grunt, and also, of course the Witch King, and then the EOD, everything. I mean, you can see at the bottom left side of your screen, there is like a area for the Corsairs, but spoiler alert, I mean, is it even a spoiler after 20 years? Um, Corsairs won't make it. <laughs> That's the spoiler. Again, we need to make sure to kill the catapults. That's the most important thing. And more towers are coming non-stop. Non-stop. And as you can see, we have also more heroes available in this mod. 
in compared to the normal original BFME one. For example, the second hero and also Denator, of course, are not normally available in the normal vanilla BFME one game. But again, that's not the normal BFME one, that's the Edeen mod. Kill the catapults, destroy the... Grunt, 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 Grunt. In the chat, in the comment section down below, everybody, type Grunt, 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 Grunt. It was one of the most epic ch chants I've ever seen, actually. It was so funny, you know? When they were saying, uh, we cannot break it, the gate is too strong. Grunt will break it. Grunt, Grunt, Grunt. Chic. Send forward, send forth the wolf's head. I believe that's gonna be the take. I mean, if I remember correctly, that's also called the wolf's head, right? Grunt, grunt, grunt. Okay, let's use the lightning sword on the on the tower. Let's see if we can defend the grunt. Oh, but now we are falling apart, RNB. We are really kind of falling apart now. Now multiple towers are coming and they are actually all getting attached to the wall. And again, it takes so much time to kill them. My War of Power is still on cooldown. I can't, I can if I want to use the EOD to kill the Grunt, but I don't want to do that, actually, you know? I want the Grunt to make it to the gate. Can I destroy this, please, with the Easter Light? There is another one. There are so many of them, dude. It's, uh, it's hard, man. It's really hard. It's, it's not only about the difficulty, boys. It's about the lag, too. You know, I'm very scared that my Gandalf might be in trouble. And I want to I wanna heal him, but my lag won't, the lag of the game won't allow me to heal him in time. And I might lose him. Because I don't know what the win conditions are. What is the condition to win this? Or what is the condition to lose this? Maybe when you lose your Gandalf, you automatically lose. I don't know. There are no objectives available. It's a huge army there, too. We need to recruit many, many units. Now we have finally space in the command point department. So we can finally end up recruiting more units for the first time. My water of power is almost available. And, oh my goodness, man. Too many units. Too many catapults. Too many orcs. Too many siege towers. And there is a grunt about to smash my gate too. Grunt, 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 grunt. And now you might be thinking, hey, you are super weird. Why are you cheese? Why are you kind of, uh, you know, cheering up for the for the enemy unit? But grunt is cool, you know what I mean? I'm willing to lose the game just to be able to cheer for grunt. More Nazgus are coming and they're gonna make it now to my gate. And now is the time to make the announcement. Whatever comes through this gate, you are soldiers of Gondor. Okay. We need to be prepared for the worst case scenario though. We need to kind of have a defense now in the other areas of the White City. Just to make sure. We need to get it to level 2 first, which means I believe we need to recruit like 3 or 4 archers. It's gonna smash it again. How much damage? Boom. Okay. It needs one more hit only. <laughs> and then the gate is going to be broken. I am down to let it go. I mean, I could, I don't know how well EOD is going to perform against Grunt, but again, I could summon EOD way before the Grunt could make it to the gate and eventually kill it, but I want to get the vibe and the, the, the thing, the, the hype about the, about the movies, you know? Oh my goodness. It, look, what just happened? Did they literally summon a troll army right at my gate after the gate has been broken? Hold on a second. How am I supposed to defend this now? I mean, they wanted to make it like in the film too. The gate is getting broken, and first the trolls are diving in. Look, this Nazgul is killing the civilians. For whatever reason. Oh, Faramir, don't get bullied. Um, I think we need to kind of bail from this. <laughs> I, I don't think we can defend this. Okay, give up the first ring. Luckily, we have seven rings in total, so giving up the first ring shouldn't mean the end of the world. And there is no timer either. So normally when you play the campaign, you have at the top left side of your screen like a timer which tells you and lets you know about how much time you need before you can get the chance to um, call the reinforcements of Rohan. But that's not happening here. But I mean, I'm hoping that they will come because we used Pippin at the beginning of the game to kind of, you know, light up the signal fire. So Aragorn could go to Theoden and say, Gondor, Gondor calls for it. And Theoden could say, and Rohan will answer, Master the Rohirrim. 
So we need to send them back now to the second ring. We can we need to keep more units on the second and third ring of Minas Tirith because this one is not gonna be defendable very very soon. So we need to retreat and use this moment. Luckily, we have always gate for each ring. So they need to kinda first of all destroy all the buildings. Look how many towers, dude. How many siege towers? It's Peregrine Took would like to see, but we have to bite the wizard. That has to be good for something. Talking about Peregrine Took, he has been killed already. So we don't have Peregrine Took on the field anymore. Um, okay, no problem. We don't need him anyway. Oh boy. We need rangers. It's lagging, dude. It's lagging so hard too. Retreat! Retreat to Minas Tirith! We need to open the gate though. We cannot get there without uh, opening the gate. And you can also not build any post on gates in this game. On kill Faramir. He is Faramir, the captain of Gondor. He can't move, dude. He's getting slapped and get knocked down all the time. Okay, finally. So now we can retreat and once we make it to this location, I will also close the gate. Um, and hope that Rohan will, end, uh, Rohan will arrive very, very soon. Upgrade every single one of them. Luckily, we have a lot of money, boys. So we have over 11,000 in the bank. So we should be able to recruit quite a lot of units. I'm gonna also build the well at this spot, at this spot, so I can heal up my units over time. You know. Keep a lookout. Attack formation. Soldier battalion standing by. Keep recruiting other rangers. One more archer is required for level two. The same also goes to this archer range, and then we can recruit uh, rangers. And I'm assuming they will deal way more damage in compared to the Gondor archers. Um, and the one thing, oh, they summoned more units inside my base. They are literally, look how many trolls, boys. Holy cock, holy, that's kind of crazy, man. So many of them. Close the gate, close the gate. Go, go in. I don't want to sacrifice you level, level 7 soldiers. Just go in. Okay. I mean, we can summon the eagles too from the spell book. But I'm really, really trying to win without using the power points, but I don't know if it's possible. We get, once again, the Nazgûls. Okay, now it's time to recruit the Waldläufer. The Waldläufer, that's the name of the Ranger Battalion in German. And Waldläufer is kind of like a strange water. You know, Wald means forest and Läufer means like runner. So basically when you translate it word for word, the Waldläufer means in English forest runner, <laughs> but you know, they are, um, it's also kind of funny, remember in the film, they used to call Aragorn Strider, right, I mean in the first film, Strider, and this was translated into German as uh, Streicher, which can also mean, mean like a funny thing, you know, Streicher, du bist ein Streicher. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, I mean, hold, hold the gate, hold the door, and try to survive until the reinforcements will come. Again, that's the part of the good campaign, right? When you play the good campaign in this game, especially the the defensive missions like Helm's Deep or you know, of course Minas Tirith, then it's not about winning. It's about actually kind of stalling and being patient and defending exclusively until a certain uh, until a certain point reaches. In which you can either summon EOD, or you can, you know, summon Rohan reinforcements, or you can call Elma and Ganlov reinforcements. So it's all about getting to this point. And also in Black Gate, it's not about winning because you can't win. Mordor is emptying against you. It will send five millions of units against you. So it's at some point of the of the mission, you are forced to get overwhelmed, and that's why we cre recreated and re changed the difficulty of the, of the good campaign to make it way more challenging, especially in those three missions, the three key missions, the Helm's Deep, Minas Tirith and, and Black Gate, to make them way more challenging. So people would struggle to get to the point in which they finally can, you know, call on the reinforcements, in which they finally can kill and destroy the one ring with the Frodo. And until this moment, they will suffer, you know, it's not, it shouldn't be easy. But unfortunately, even though the campaign of the BFM1 is amazing, it was just too easy. When you get too used to this game for a little while, look at this, man. Then you will notice how easy the campaign actually is, you know? Okay. I mean, look at the minimap at the bottom left of your screen, please. <laughs> That's a big army of Mordor, man. I 
I mean, that's kind of the most exhausting Minas Tirith map I've ever played. You know, the Seven Rings makes it kind of confusing for me to focus with the camera to remember where my units are, where my production buildings are, so I can keep recruiting more units. But luckily, we have 85,000 in the bank, so we are quite rich, and we should be able to get a lot of units before they can break to the, to the second gate, you know? And I'm still kind of curious when we will get the chance to summon the reinforcements of Rohan. Hopefully very soon. Okay, they broke the gate and here they come. But we have a very strong defense. Look, look at the firepower we got, guys, <laughs> on, the, on top of the wall. Look at them. They are shooting like lasers, you know, like pew, pew, pew. You see fire ground. Oh, again the Nazgul? Do not come between the Nazgul and his prey. I mean, that's the Witch King they are showing, but only Nazgul's are coming. Okay, um, we can also retreat because, let's be honest, our Gondor Knights are actually no match against, uh, against those trolls. So, in reality, all we need are Rangers. Also known as Waldläufer. And guys, if you, are, if you are from a different country, what they called in your native language, the, the Rangers. And also the Strider. I'm curious, because again, I know the German and English version. In English, they say Strider to Aragorn in the first film, in the Fellowship of the Ring. And they say uh, Rangers to this um, elite archers of the Gondor faction. But in, in German, they said Streicher to Strider and Waldläufer to Ranger. What is what, what are they called in your native language? Let me know the language and then also what they named them, you know? And even the Frodo's name got changed. So, for example, the original name of Frodo is Frodo Baggins, right? And in German, they translated him to Frodo Beutlin. And that's something I don't get it. Can you guys imagine after many, many years, and sorry being off topic, but after many, many years living in Germany, <laughs> I've, a couple of years ago, I've learned that the Pokemons, you know, the ones we have been watching when we were little kids, they were also named differently in German. You know, like for example, the water Pokemon from Ashton Kutcher, you know, was called Shiggy in German. Or the uh, plant Pokemon was called Bizazam. But they have also different names in the original, in the English version. And I'm always curious why people would like to change the name. Because names should always remain the same. Imagine you rename Harry Potter to Harry Blabra or something, you know? It would be kind of <laughs> meaningless, you know what I mean? I mean, Harry Potter you can't really change. Because the, the name of the film is Harry Potter, you know what I'm saying? But they change a lot of Pokemon names. And also quick question, I know I have a lot of questions, but I'm a curious person. And I, I really want to get to know you guys a bit better. What was your favorite anime when you was growing up, you know? We, you know, I was I used to watch Pokemon and also Dragon Ball and One Piece. I still watch One Piece almost every single Sunday when they bring a new episode. But unfortunately, in the last couple of years, it slowed down in the progressing. So, like, almost two years, nothing really important happens. And they should be trying to advance a little bit more in the story. But I still watch it. Dragon Ball I used to watch, Yu-Gi-Oh! I used to watch, and when I was a kid I was even going around, I had like a collection of the cards, and I would meet with my friends in real life and play against them, you know, <laughs> with my cards. I was like a real big nerd, you know what I'm saying? But I'm proud, because I had like a phenomenal childhood. I mean, we can have like a small tag, I believe, as we are defending the White City, um, and Mordor can't advance. Maybe we need to kind of retreat. Because I want, maybe it's kind of stuck and maybe they need to make a progress before the next step is going to happen. Again, it's a scripted map and I believe that is like a script which tells you this has to happen and this is going to happen. But maybe because we never let them go through this floor, you know, they can never reach to the next area. The script never activates. So it's going to be like a permanent loop situation. I will recruit a bit more units and then I will just retreat to the next area. Because they are really struggling to get through this, you know. We have too much dam damage output. And the way the Minas Tirith is designed, even in the normal campaign, is you can cheese it quite hard, you know what I mean? Also in Helm's Deep, you can cheese that. Like, basically, you kind of group all your units into one tiny location, and when you have a lot of them in the one location, they will kill everything before they can come anywhere close. So, basically, the real challenge would be to win such a mission without recruiting any additional archer or ranger. That's going to be the real challenge. Try to win this with, like, infantry units, like... Tower Guard, Soldiers, and Gondor Knights exclusively, you can't. You need fire damage, you need archers. 
I mean, look at this. I believe there are too many units. They can't pass through, so I'm pretty tempted to just use AOD on this spot. <laughs> I want to just use AOD and clean this up. Because I believe from what, I've, what I'm seeing, they are kind of body blocking each other, you know what I mean? We have only 1,500 units, but it's it seems to be enough, you know? It seems to be enough. They are kind of stuck. And that's also one of the cheese potential you have also in a map like this. Because the areas are kind of smallish for big creatures like trolls. And they need some more uh, free room to move freely, to move without being blocked. And that might be one of the reasons why it's so tough, you know? I'm gonna go for a for war of power, by the way, guys. I'm gonna use the Nostacres. The new shall not pass. I wanna see how much damage I can deal to the trolls. I wanna clean, clean up those orcs and hope that the orcs were the ones who are body blocking the trolls. And after the orcs are gone, and they should be getting killed, of course, by my war of power, then maybe, maybe Mordor can advance. If they're not gonna be able to advance, I'm gonna just send all the units actually to the next ring. And so I will give Mordor the chance to pass freely. I believe you have too many command points, not only in terms of difficulty, because look how easy it becomes at some point, you know, but also in terms of lagging. So I'm a big fan of having an epic battle with like thousands of units against thousands of units. It looks phenomenal, but it's also kind of annoying when it's freezing and pausing and kind of lagging most of the time, you know, that's not the point. It's not fun <laughs> when it's kind of freezing every few seconds. Because I'm scared most of the time that it might get crashed. The game will, you know, get crushed anytime. Boom, son. There we go. Nice. I mean, unfortunately, we cannot collect any more power points, but we have to heal. We can save Gandalf. We don't need to risk it. Okay, one of the one of the trolls was able finally make, able to make it to this area. Look how much of a defense we have. Good luck dealing with this, dude. <laughs> we have just too many units upon the field, boys. It's like a loop situation now. We need to wait for the moment of the Rohirrim to arrive. And just break the gate, just break the gate. Maybe that's gonna trigger something. Again, that's not a map, we have not made this map. I was able to find this map on the internet, so I don't know what the scripts are. And what needs to be done for the scripts to activate. I'm kinda lost, you know? But last time when they were able to break the main gate, some shenanigans happened. Maybe they need to break the gates and every time they advance, break a gate, something happens. And maybe that's gonna trigger the next move. Because Mordor is literally camping. I'm gonna use AOD here and kill them all. And maybe there are too many units on the field. And when I kill a certain amount of them... Something might happen. Dude, it's, it's lagging so hard. The game is literally in slow motion. Okay, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it. I take it every day of the week. Destroy it. Yeah, look, you see, that's what you need to do. Because then something is gonna happen and you might be finally able to advance. Okay, it looks pretty good. But I'm pretty certain that they can really not advance from this. Look how many ranges we have clumped in one spot, you know. I'm gonna open the gate actually, bring my heroes and Gandalf to this spot. And I might also kinda leave this and go even more up, you know. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna pause the video here um, because it's kind of getting boring. I wanna play a little bit without bothering you too much and then I wanna kind of skip to the area in which something else is gonna finally happen, you know what I mean, okay? Okay, so I, I think what we need to do is we need to go all the way back to the last ring. So in order to make something happen in this, I believe, you need to kind of let them destroy some certain stuff. So what we have seen is whenever they were able to break through some gates, they were able to advance a little bit. Before they do that, actually nothing really happened, so I was deciding after like 10 minutes playing this <laughs> and defending this endlessly, to just move now upstairs and give up everything at the bottom area. Again, I'm not, I don't know, the scripts and um, maybe that's the way to actually advance in this one. Okay, so that's the plan. Please destroy the gate. That's all you gotta do. Destroy the gate. 
and then destroy the next kid, and I believe that's gonna be enough to make something happen, some shenanigans. Okay, the troll is slowly but surely taking care of my uh, git. And I'm retreating all the way to the top of the Mina Street. The second troll is coming too. Don't kill the troll, don't kill the troll. Don't shoot the troll, shoot other units, archers. Okay, the question is what's gonna happen next, come on. Break it. Nice, he broke it. But nothing really happened, to be honest with you, which is kind of confusing. We are again retreating all the way. Look how many units we have actually. We have still 1,576 units. I mean, we have still 1,000 available command points. So basically, we could, if you wanted to, to recruit way more units. But let's not do that, you know? <laughs> let's not do that. Because I believe we have already a strong force. And I don't know if they will be able to deal with that. I mean, the White City is looking phenomenal. But I thought, you know, it's kind of confusing at the same time. Maybe it's a little bit too big, guys. What do you guys think in the comment section down below? You know, when you play this, you get like a headache, you know? It's it's overwhelming big. I mean, size doesn't matter everything. That's what she said, but... It's too big, you know? Too big. Okay, I see Mordor advancing at the bottom side. They are kind of also chilling. I believe there are just too many units upon the field for them to be, to be able to make a move, you know? They need to, first of all, kill my trebuchet on top of the wall and then eventually break the next gate. And in the meantime, nothing really happens. It is a camp from Mordor. I don't know if I should be just destroying that. We gotta kill this Nazgul first and then we should be in a good spot. Kill it! There's a tank in this game though, by the way. We can get them. Oh, now we have no money! What just happened, dude? What, we had like... So much money, and now we are running out of money in a second. We had like over 80,000. What? We are kind of brokeish now. There's a level 10 unit stuck on top of the wall. And I believe that's the problem, because there are too many units. And the problem is that the pathways they need to walk through are quite tiny. And they might get body blocked, and they might also get kind of... Kind of stuck, you know, in, in some in some per certain situations. I mean, there are lots of trolls, but they cannot move. We are kind of broke, though. We have, like, no money left in the bank. And that's the beautiful, beautiful roof of the White City. Farami is kind of glowing, shining bright like a diamond. I don't know why he's glowing. I'm trying to give up the full area. And look, my units are kind of teleporting. Do you see that? Is there, like, a hidden path they can just walk through? Apparently, there is. Oh my, it's freezing, dude. It's freezing. Look how many how many uh, um, <laughs> trolls are stuck in one location. <laughs> moving, moving. Courage, there are just too many of them. Too many. And also more are coming from the bottom side. There are still a lot of units in the in the very first ring of the, of the map. And we have a lot of, a big force. We have really a crazy strong army now at this point. I'm not trying to kill them, but I'm trying to kind of clean them up a little bit so they can pass through the gate. The problem is they are trying to pass simultaneously and they can't because trolls are thick, you know. I can call the Rohan reinforcements if I want to. But I'm not going to do that. It's not going to do anything for me. Come on, trolls, pass through, pass through. Should I open the gate, maybe? Maybe that's gonna trigger them. I don't know. Let's try. Okay, some of them are trying to make it now. Oh, we have still so many units up on the wall, man. That's crazy. Oh, all up. All up. All, 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 all. Just walk up. Look, 600 for the banner. 400 for the... Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, now we are talking. Look at this, look at this, that's looking amazing, man. Spears shall be shaken! Shields shall be splintered! A sword day! A red day! And the sun!
Yeah, man, that's like, I don't know, like 1,500 command points of Rohirrim. And every one of them is level 10. We have Theorin King. And you know what time it is? It is time for the Rungreichen Angriff. It's also called the Glorious Charge. Again, the mod is in German, but you can play it in English voice. Your text will be in German. It's not a big deal, though. It, this is not for me because I'm from Germany. Let's trample them for death and glory. Oh, that's, that's the most satisfying thing in the world if you get such a beautiful glorious charge off. Look, I mean, if we could raise power points, trust me on that one, it would just skyrocket now to 25, 26, 20, 27, 28, 29. Don't crash on me, game. I don't want to miss this beautiful moment. Look at this. This is satisfying, dude. Let's go. That's what I like to see. Keep trampling them. Keep crushing my FPS. That's battle for middle of one when you play on one FPS. But I don't care. I actually prefer this one because we get the chance to see this in slow motion, which makes it even more epic. Trample them down, all of them. Oh, what is happening? The camera is moving. What? What? Something is happening. I don't know what's happening. Denitor. Denitor is moving. Is he gonna actually burn and then fall down, like in the films? If that's gonna be the case, it's gonna be epic, though. But even he is moving in slow motion. You see the white tree right next to the well? The white tree there? It actually, you know, it's a beautifully designed version of Minas Tirith. Let's be real. They've done a phenomenal job. He's walking. Denitor. The stewardess of Ro <laughs> stewardess <laughs> of Gondor. Okay, he's moving. Is he gonna actually walk all the way up and then fall from the ground? Fro fall from it? I don't know. Like, really? Go go, Denitor. Ah, okay. So goes Denitor. Ectilion son. I couldn't care less. Keep trampling, keep trampling, keep trampling. Our glorious charge is on cooldown. I mean, it's gone now. So we will get slowed down from trampling. But we don't even notice the difference because we have been slowing down all game long anyway. <laughs> this game has been actually being played on in slow motion. But our Rohirrim army is looking juicy, man. Now we can actually group all of them and send them like with E-click to the bottom side. Make sure that we kill everything inside Minas Tirith with the Archer Army and everything outside of Minas Tirith, outside of the walls, we can clear up with the Rohirrim. They have also full upgrades, you can see the shields on them. They are all level 10, which is the strongest form, of course, with like massive leadership from Irma and Theodin. And Glorious Charge is almost back up. I believe they made, it, they made it so you can use it more frequently in this mission, which kind of makes sense, you know? Because Glorious Charge, what is the most important thing about Glorious Charge is... Hold on. Dev, look at this, man. Beautiful. Look, more armies coming, but they have no chance. They have no chance. Go, 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 go. Kill my computer. Kill my computer. Death to my computer. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And I believe only for this first and the second glorious charge, boys. Let's be honest. This deserves likes. Am I right or not? And I'm pretty certain that we can it get, can we get 400 likes for this video? I think we should be able to, right? It's Minas Tirith. It's our favorite childhood game. It's nostalgia hitting you like a truck. It is, you know, like the vibe of the films. It is the trilogy hype. It is the Return of the King hype. Everything in one single game, one single video. Come on now. I think we can do it. All right. One more trample. Come on, do it. Go, 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 go! Stay sharp. Win. Crash my FPS! Crash my FPS, dude! I'm literally so scared that my PC is gonna shut down at this, at, in this moment. I'm very scared. Okay. I don't know, man. <laughs> this is kinda crazy. It's kind of crazy, dude. Okay, I mean, there is a huge force still in the in the Minas Tirith, but my units can't move out for whatever reason. They are kind of stuck, and I don't know why they can't move. Doesn't make any sense to me. Let's see. 
Destroy the siege towers. Destroy everything in your path. Dude, how amazing was the scene in the films when Theodin was arriving in Minas Tirith, when all hope was lost. And in the extended edition, for whatever reason, they were about to let Witch King kill Gandalf too. Luckily, that, not hap that didn't happen in the actual books. Because re realistically speaking, Witch King might be a powerful servant of the Maya Sauron. But how can he and would he ever stand a chance against something like Gandalf? Gandalf literal got Maya. Uh, endless powers, you know, he was even strong strong enough in grey form that he was able to kill Balrog in a one-on-one -on -one situation And remember when he was becoming white, he got like a power boost You know what I mean? Like he was easily able to kind of crush Saruman and destroy his spell, the Warm Tongue ability on Theoden King And uh, in addition to that, he was also able to block the Firebolt, break Saruman's stuff How can Witch King think about getting close to Gandalf. Luckily, that never happened in the books. I think they wanted to make it look like, uh, look, look, made him look more like a threat in the in the films, but luckily that didn't happen in the official version of the film. It only happened in the extended edition. And then, you know, that was all, all about to happen. Gandalf was about to get him killed in the extended edition, and then, then Theorin arrives. You hear the horn of Gondor like we have heard in this mission. And then his battle speech, dude. I mean, even if you have never seen anything Lord of the Rings related in your, in your in your life and you literally show this one scene to anybody who hasn't heard anything about Lord of the Rings yet I think even this person would literally get goosebumps you know it was amazing kill my PC dude my, I'm literally killing my PC guys right at this point I would not be kind of surprised when my PC would not be able to get started anymore after this game. I might need a new PC after this one, actually. But it's worth it. I mean, it's not worth it. Like, I'm telling you, I don't want to lose my PC, dude. It's expensive, you know what I mean? Nowadays, it's so expensive. I believe to buy a, like, a semi-good PC, again, I need my PC to stream. I'm streaming on Twitch and also play at the same time. You need some, some sort of semi-decent PC and that would cost you around about $1,500, which is a lot of money. So I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna get my PC get crashed, you know? I mean, the Glorious Charge has such a long low cooldown, we can use it over and over again. It's legit the third time we are using it, but there is still so much happening. Again, I believe that it has to be something like a trigger, what needs to happen for the next move. And, I mean, I believe you can make the scripts, I'm not very familiar with the scripts, how they are working in the Battle Formula of One, I've never scripted anything myself. Um, but I'm pretty certain there are like two sorts of scripts. One of them is time beast, so a certain time of a certain time has to pass, like in the normal campaign, for example, and until you can make the next move. But some of them are action based, so a certain thing has to happen in the game before the next move can begin. And I believe, I mean, I'm pretty certain actually that they made this, whoever made this mission or this custom map made it actually action based. So a certain thing has to happen before. Something else is gonna happen. Okay, I, but I believe something else is gonna happen now. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. The moment kids, they don't stand a chance as well. We have a lot of Rohir mats. Look how many of them we have on the field, actually, guys. It's kind of crazy. Look how many. Okay, I mean, the problem is my army at the top side, they can't really participate. I don't know, they cannot really go down anymore. Which kind of makes no sense because they were able to go up, so there is there has to be a reason why they can't go down. And I still have to kill so much stuff, you know? Look how many of them, still, you know? <laughs> In the Minas Tirith, behind the walls. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the next Glorious Charge. We're gonna give the most aggressive stance so we can maximize their damage output. Glorious Charge is almost available. Let's group them all together. And go for one more beautiful death and glory moment. Or maybe even water of power would be so juicy there. But I'm more hyped about this glorious charge. We can now split them, send the normal Rohirrim to the bottom and the Rohirrim Archer to the top so we can kill them and destroy them all simultaneously. Be more time efficient, if you know what I mean. 
Look, they are kind of teleporting, like the small steps and you can see the lag in their movement. I'm not my video is lagging, by the way, it's about the game which is lagging and sorry for this experience, you need to kind of suffer. But it's not about my PC, trust me. Again, I kept saying it, I already said it at the beginning of the video, you can basically play the Battle for Middle-earth games on a toaster. They are very old games from 2004, 2005 and 2006, this one is from 2004, so it's like 20 years old, every single PC which was purchased within the last 20 years should be easily, easily able to play this game in the highest <laughs> graphical settings. Easy. Oh, I was scared for a second. The one thing that can be horrible at this point, oh my, they are summoning now the level 6 moment kill, okay? They, they want to kill something, they want to kill my Rohirrim, but I don't I don't want to let this happen. I don't want to lose my beautiful army, you know, that's not going to happen. As long as I, I have still blood in my veins, I won't let this happen. Even if, I, if it would mean that I cannot win this, I cannot watch how my Rohirrim gets slaughtered, you know? I cannot watch this. Trample them all. The problem is our normal Rohirrim, they don't stand a chance against the moment kills, you know? The moment kills, they can kill all of our Rohirrim, they basically deal no damage to them, so we need to Rohirrim archers. Oh! I summon you to fulfill your destiny. Come on, sea rats. <laughs> and then, I mean, the guy was so unlucky, you know, he was so hyped. Come on, sea rats. For the both of us, may the best win. And they are like, hey, what's happening? Three dudes, and then they see the EOD coming and all oh, running through everything, dude. That was kind of crazy. We can catch this nice good with the fel uh, arrow wind. Oof, oof, oof. Oh, three shotting the nice good. What is this? Look our command, look our heroes list at the bottom side, dude. We have like so many heroes upon the field now. A huge Rohirrim Archer army. And crazy stuff, crazy stuff, crazy stuff. I want to kill this moment kill actually, if I can. I mean, our units in the in the in the white city they cannot move. And I think I'm gonna use my Aragorn and Gimli to actually kill uh, the camp. So we can kill this moment kill. There are only few moment kills. They send them only one by one. We have too many Rohirrim matches for that. And again, we have maxed out leadership, so we are in a very strong spot. Very very strong spot. They're finally able to make a move too, that's good. Okay, okay. Kill them all. Beautiful. I mean, the EOD is not permanently, by the way. I mean, they're almost gone, which kind of makes sense because EOD permanently, how disgusting would it be? And if you don't know, in the original Battle for Middle of One campaign, when you play the Minas Tirith and Aragorn gets with Legolas and Gimli as the last reinforcement of the good faction, then you have the EOD from Aragorn, Gimli and Legolas forever until you clean up everything. And we nerfed it of course in the patch 2.22 because I don't think it's kind of funny when you, you know, how, how fun has this, how fun can this be? Oh, oh, hold on. But we have the Anduril, the Flame of the West, Forge of the Shards of Narsil. Oh, oh, but Sar Sauron doesn't care, Sauron doesn't care. Stand up Aragorn. You need to prove your quality, Aragorn. Legolas is assisting him, of course, from a long distance, but I think Legolas doesn't hurt him. But Aragorn smashing him! He doesn't forget about the shards of Narsil. He got already defeated by it once, and he will get defeated by it twice. And the Lord of the Rings has been defeated by King Elessar himself. You love to see it. Nice, so Aragorn, dude. Aragorn, I'm telling you, he's a one-man army, and I believe the only way you can kill him is with Aragorn because he is vulnerable against Anduril's sword and without Anduril's sword you have no chance against him. So imagine how strong Anduril is because only with Anduril all alone Aragorn was able to con kind of kind of uh, make sure that EOD follows him, the army of the dead, you know. If they wouldn't see the Anduril's sword in his hands they wouldn't care about him. Gimli go. Okay, let's kill the Mumma kill. Um, we need to kind of keep the distance too. There are so many Mumma kills, man. Holy guacamole. I don't know if we can kill them all. I would like to group them all up in one spot, you know? Then we can use the EOD. Uh, I mean, the, the Glorious Chart, sorry. Let's destroy the Citadel first from the camp. The level 3 buildings actually hurt. Legolas doesn't deal too much damage to the Mumma kills, man. I'm gonna use the Arrow Volley. 
Maybe that's gonna deal damage, I don't know. It's so slow, dude. It's unbelievable, man. It's so slow. We're being chased from everywhere. Aragorn is taking damage. I keep attention to that, no worry. I have almost the heal from the spellbook anyway. Also, Blade Master destroyed this one first. Now destroy the level 3 buildings. Where is Gimli at? Gimli, can you please help him with the Slayer? It's called Fenita in the <laughs> German language. Okay, we need to kind of group all, all up in one spot and use the Glorious Charge. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I still need to wait for my Rukiram Arches to come down. Now they are coming. I have almost a heal, so we should be in a good spot. If Aragorn. And I want to go for this juicy, beautiful, glorious charge moment. Come on. I, I see Aragorn, don't worry about it. I see, I keep an eye on Aragorn. I won't lose him, man. Come on, I'm not a noob in this game, guys. <laughs> I'm not a noob in this game. Alright, now it's time. Now for what? Now for Rath. Now for Ruin and the Red Dawn. Do it. Death. Boom, son. Let's go. Look, we can burst the Moomer Kids down now. Because besides giving us slow immunity and also more armor, Glorious Charge also gives us actually a great chunk of damage leadership, which makes the Rohirrim Archers hit way harder. We can kill this troll too, no problem. We are in a very, very strong spot. We can also kill this moment kills. They don't stand a chance against us. Just kill them with the Rohirrim Arches, you know? In the normal Rohirrim, we will not use for that. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Nice, we killed him. Okay. What is happening? We need to also kill all these trolls inside the base, though. Nice, we killed all the moment kills. That's dope. Oh, I, I lied. There are three more coming. Aragorn and Gimli they should be able to finish this. No problemo. Okay, so let's kill the moment kills first because they are the ones who are causing problems. I can also bring my Legolas to this spot so we can kill those Nazgûs. One of them is hiding for the reason, but I think Ar uh, Legolas is like, like a really long range and we can eventually snipe him even from, from a far distance. Uh, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. You gotta keep those heroes nearby to the Rohirrim though, so they can or Rohirrim arches better. They can get a little bit more damage leadership to kill this moment kills a bit faster. The speed is very important. There are four moment kills, two of them down. Let's go for the third one. That still only counts as one, as Gimli would like to see. Kill the third one and kill the last one. Come on. Please die. Come on, don't trample into anything. Yeah, okay, beautiful. Nice, you boys. We're in a phenomenal spot. We're actually in a phenomenal spot. We also destroyed this. That's good. Now, Legolas, go there. And you can use your arrow volley, arrow wind. Right, right on the spot, do it. I couldn't use it, but... Okay, we can kill him, I believe. This way should not be a hard thing to do. I'm pretty certain that Legolas can kill him. In the meantime, I'm trying to move down, though. I'm trying to move down. I oh! This Nazgul is actually chunking me. I hope that I can kill him faster before he can... What is this damage from the Nazgul, though? What the heck? Um, if we kill him already, the Nazgul is potentially dead to Legolas, right? Right? No! It's not even close! I have no heal! Use this! Come on! Do it! Do it! Do it! Come on! Nice! What? We killed him and he killed us at this... What? Did you guys see this? We killed him and he killed us at the same time. I've never seen this before. What the heck is that? Okay, we need to summon the trebuchet for the for this third time. Um, unfortunately, they can't do anything. And we might need to go inside the base now. I'm gonna maybe send them all, all the way back to the well. And I don't know what needs to happen for the next move. Maybe I just need to kill all the units and that's it. Maybe I'm gonna be victorious. You see, lots of trolls are kind of chilling. They are in a very <laughs> awkward situation. And Mordor is not summoning any more reinforcements. So I believe the last thing what we need to do is just clean all the red things from the map and we should be in a good spot. I can summon the eagles too. I believe I'm gonna summon the eagles to kill all these trolls there. There are like four trolls for whatever reason at the walls. <laughs> and we might kill them now with the eagles. Okay. I don't know what's happening why my units can't move downstairs. Maybe because, remember they teleported to the top side when I was trying to send them forward. But maybe they, there's, there's like a only one way to go, you know what I mean? Maybe you can only go up, but you cannot go down. Maybe that's the thing. Because I can clearly not teleport down. Clearly not teleport down. That's the problem. 
Kill this troll, come on. Kill this troll. Okay, beautiful. Now kill all these units. Just gonna e-click. We have also the EOD from this dude. We can now use Aragorn to kill this level E troll. The eagles are taking care of the other trolls. But the trolls are tanky, beefy. They don't die too quickly. Okay, finally some rangers are able to move down. I'm very confused actually. Some of them are able to move down, some of them are not. And this one spawns constantly some of the Nazgûls around this area. I can eventually use the uh, smite ability. So it's like a disguise ability, the third one. Okay. I keep killing everything. The level 10 units require a lot of time to be killed, but it should be done. Okay, so trample down everything, let's clean up, and I believe that's gonna bring us the victory in this fight. In just like in the films, boys, we were able to defend the White City. I mean, I like the difficulty, I like the scripts are a bit too much forced, and, and maybe you have too many command points, maybe you have too many units, which doesn't only make it way easier this way, but also, at the same time, it makes it laggy at the same time, you know, and we don't want it to happen. So I believe and there would be one thing I would change about this, it would be definitely lowering the command points to from 2500 maybe to 1250 only like half the command points so the defense is going to be requiring much more micro in much better positioning and then you can still you know because money is okay you have always enough money and you can do stuff later on i'm going to use aod by the way because i cannot reach to them i don't know what how they got on top of the wall like that i have no clue but what i'm trying to say is like you need eventually a bit more micro than when you have only half the units uh, but it makes more fun when it's lagging way less, you know what I mean? 2,500 units is just too much. Not for any PC, your PC might be good, but it doesn't depend on that one. It depends on the game's engine. The game's engine is not designed to have such a big force on the field at the same time. There is a reason why you have only 200 or 400 command points in the 1v1 skirmishes or multiplayer games, because when you have more units, the performance is getting really, really bad, you know? Can I jump on him? No, I can't. Eowyn! Oh my goodness, Eowyn almost got killed. I can heal though. Okay, that's good. Okay, I almost lost my Eowyn, the shield maiden of Rohan. My Theodin! Theodin, where is Theodin at? No! Oh, attack the Witch King with Mary. You fool. No man can kill me. Oh, she's knocking. Okay, fight. Do not come between the Nazgul and his prey. Die now. I believe so. Okay, let's use the Shield Maiden Rohans. Of, uh, Shield Maiden of Rohan, now she's chunking. Now she's winning against the Witch King. And we need to put the sound effect here. I am no man when she kills him finally. Can we kill him? We have no heal from the spell book. If I would know that, I would have saved the heal. I am no man. GG Waplit, Witch King, you have no chance. Because she is no man. She's no man. Okay, beautiful. Alright, we need to kind of find a way to kill these trolls. Maybe it's one of those maps which kinda is bugging out when it comes to finish. So when I kill this troll and it doesn't finish, um, then I will just leave the game. Because I don't want to be bothering uh, trying to find... Because some maps, sometimes when you have like a script error, it will cause the map never end. But we basically won already. I want to make sure to kill the troll. If that's not going to bring us the victory, then I'm going to just call it, guys. I hope it was still enjoyable for you. It was kind of fun. A couple of the things are very well executed at the beginning. You have the chance to, for example, save the Gondonites coming from the Oskiliaf when they have been sent forward with, you know, Denitor's force. And later on, you have the chance, for example, uh, see it. Um, to light the fire, the signal fire, so you can call for reinforcements of Rohan, uh, which is also pretty good. Can I use this in combination? Please die. No, he's not dying. I think we are kind of stuck in this mission. And there are so many stuck uh, units in the battalion, in the buildings, which I can't even attack properly. Doesn't make any sense to continue. I think I'm gonna call it for now, guys. GG well played. Let me know what you think about this map and also the Eden mod of Battle for Middle of One in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel, which is for free, but it helps out quite a, quite a lot. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves. Keep hitting like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.